What is going on, my fellow gamers? I am finally back after what? One, two, three, four days of not having Wi-Fi. Allow me to explain. There was a driver update for my PC's Wi-Fi. I'm not sure what happened, but here's the scoop. There was an update for it. It said HP Inc. software component in my Windows update spot inside the Windows update section inside the settings. Well, okay, I'm thinking, you know, this would be an opportunity to take this and say, you know, okay, I'll update whatever, fine. Well, apparently the little Wi-Fi icon in the corner of the screen, which would normally be there, but it's being taken by the game, obviously, um, that kind of had a little globe icon, which means no Wi-Fi. That happened Thursday at 2.30 while I was supposed to do my live stream at 4 on Thursday. Come to realize, I checked the driver section inside the uh, Wi-Fi adapter update that had occurred. And the driver software that was in there in my PC to begin with. That had a yellow triangle with an exclamation in it. Why, you ask? I'll tell you why. I, at the time, was on Windows 11, which I've had since this PC was given, was uh, arrived at my, at my house, because it came with Windows 11. Fine. It came with 21H2. In 22 is when I got it. I put in 22H2. 2023, we had 23H2. This past October 1st, we had 24H2. I was running on 23H2. This specific driver for the Wi-Fi was only meant for 24H2, even though it said 22H2 or higher. I had 23, which meant it was more compatible. These people did not realize it was only meant for 24H2, which is what I'm running on now, aka the newest version of Windows 11, and that screwed my entire Wi-Fi up. Oh, joy! So, Friday, I go to my local tech store, Best Buy, and I get myself an Asus Wi-Fi 6 adapter to basically put in my PC. And then this is what else happened. I apparently cannot get Wi-Fi. Still, I talked to someone from the tech support company for HP on Friday, and he says, you have to re-image your entire PC. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me right now? So, I had to basically grab a clean version of Windows 11, and the version that was given to me that was available on the website was, in fact, 24 2 So I did that. I did that on Saturday. Finished it yesterday. Installed my Asus Wi-Fi 6 adapter. I got Wi-Fi hooked up to my router. And now we're back up and running. And today, within the course of 35 minutes, I got myself this guy, which was supposed to have been done on Thursday, the 1997 Toyota Soar 2.5 GTT. It has a, I believe, a 1JZ GTE engine, 2.5 liter, as you see the 2.5 in the name, and it took me about 35, roughly, minutes to actually unlock it. I, again, I would have had this on Thursday, but obviously, this happened, this happened, this happened, I got this, bibbidi bobbidi boo hi, now we're back online, we good. Hopefully this doesn't happen again. If it does, I'm going to be extremely PO'd. Now, focusing on the task at hand. We have ourselves a 276 horsepower car. It's B-Class 601. It is rear-wheel drive. We're going to get out, tune it. I'm going to drive it. And we're going to get it to stay out into the open. And everything else, you know what you got to do. Subscribe, click the bell, and comment below uh, your thoughts on what happened with me and stuff like that. And if you ever had that kind of problem, at one point in your uh, PC experience, if you will, let's just leave it at that. And also share it with your friends so that way, you know, they can at least get the idea of how the Toyota Soar 2.5 GTT is supposed to be tuned 
not just because of my standards, but because you guys can tune this car any which way you want. I do not care. Let's go, crazy and tuning. Yes, please. Kill slow crate. Yes, please. We obviously want this guy to be all wheel drive. That brings it up to 614. Beautiful. All right, awesome. We don't want engine swap. No, sir. I think we're going to keep the horsepower stock as is. And we got some uh, lettering on the side. 2.5 GTT. Awesome. All right, we're going to increase our tire spec. The compound, if you will. We're going to go street tire. Okay, sport tires. Fine, I guess. And then, let's see. 225, raise that. Rear tire, raise that. Uh, we're going to go front track width. We're going to raise that to one. Raise that to one. Perfect. It's some both great some, uh, systems. So, you know, seven speed. Yes, a drive line. Yes, a race differential. Perfect. Uh, brake system, naturally. Uh, race brain dampers, you are down here. I am sorry. We want intro bars. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, street weight, that is, uh, let's see, 86 pounds. Uh, what about sport? Okay, overkill. We want street weight. Uh, we don't want a chassis reinforcement. We could, but we're not going to. Uh, let's see. Um, do we want a front bumper or rear wing? Probably not. Ooh, Arjun Lab. Ooh, nice. That looks cool. Hmm. Or do we want these standard fours and stuff? Not going to make much of a difference. Neither will this. Neither will this. Or this. But that's the bike kit system. Arjun Lab. Okay, fine. So... That means we're going to have to do something a little bit different. We already have that. We already have that. That's fine. We already knew about that. Let's go to our flywheel. We definitely want that. What other things could we do? We already have a brake system. Let's see. Is a chassis update going to make a difference? It possibly will. That will. That will, that won't. Okay, fine. We can definitely do sport chassis, that is normal. Perfect. All right, let's see. Uh, what do we got? Front rim size, rear rim size, where are our sizes? 16 and, okay, that's normal. Uh, let's see. We could actually do that uh, thing now, like we want. No, it's not gonna make a difference. Okay, that's not gonna make a difference. Definitely not going to make a difference. What about uh, side skirts? Not going to make a difference. Alrighty, we got ourselves a bit of a problem. Wait, what if we lowered? What's our max for the front tire? 255? We're going to go... Okay, that did that. We can match it. Perfect. 255, 255. Perfect. That's what we had to do. Awesome. There we go. All right, let's install, save. It went up to 3554. Okay, that's fine, I suppose. We could have knocked it down further, but that's all right. We got some pretty good specs in there. We got some brakes. We got some good tires. We raised the tire com uh, uh, tire size, all that stuff. We good. Custom tuning, yes, please. 5.9 seconds, wow. I mean, you figure we're only 200 some horsepower. <laughs> All right, so that we're going to lower down to 24.4. 24, even. I'm sorry. My numbers and brain are not awake. I'm sorry. I have my coffee. It's not doing me any favors, which blows. Whatever, dude. All right, bring that to there. That's going to come down to 4 degrees. These are both going to say 26.5. Yes, please. Okay, lower that to there. Perfect. That's gonna come down just a tinge to 825.2. That's gonna stay there. That's gonna go up by two. That goes up by, yep, by two. Okay, that's fine. I'm like, what were you doing, bro? Okay, that's gonna go down to 7.0. Every single one of these is gonna come down to a 7.0. That is perfectly fine. Okay, uh, don't need to worry about that. Don't need to worry about that. 
this is going to go to 50. That's going to go to 50 as well. Okay, stop doing that. All you're going to say 50. Okay, and then this comes down to 58. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'll be right back. And we're back. Perfect. Now we did this guy for a drive. Yes, please. Get out of here. Where did I go? Oh, by the way, before I forget, you see a little icon on the map there? Horizon Backstage is finally here! Aha! I am seriously loving that. So, we actually have a pass. That means we can go there and check out what cars we have available. And here we are. Backstage, awesome. Backstage building, ends in two days, and then backstage shop. Redeem exclusive cars, yes please. But we're going to vote. We're going to see what we got this time for the week. We get one of these every week, and then we get this every week. Plus we get an additional pass for 40 points every week. We're going to see what the building looks like. Okay, team one is Toyota Trueno and Ferrari 575M versus HDK VT Commodore and Lotus Esprit. So we have team one or team two. Team one or team two. We don't really have much of these guys. We we can definitely get the Toyota Trueno, but it's worth like six, seven, eight million in the auction house. We're going to vote for this guy. There you go. Vote locked in. Perfect. Cool. Because we voted. Now we do our backstage shop. Let's see what cars we have available. Oh, hello. Yo, there's your Cadillac limousine. Awesome. So we have an 80 A bar Fiat 131. We have a 21 BMW uh, M4 competition coupe, which we have. Uh, 2013 Cadillac XTX, XTS limousine. Duh. We have a 1967 Mercedes Benz 280 SL. A 2016 Pagani Huayra BC. A 22 Rivian R1S, which we have. So, this we do not have. I would love to get this guy. That'd be nice. Um, 6 and 7 Mercedes Benz 280 SL. Okay. Um, I don't know why that stuff up there is moving. But okay. Uh, 2013 Cadillac XTS limousine. I would actually love to have a limousine. That'd be nice. Uh, let's see. We already have that. We don't have that. This is actually a classic guy car. Uh, we do have this. There's two of, these, two of these guys we have. We have this guy, and we have this guy. So these four we do not have. So, all right, what do I want? Do I want Mercedes? Do I want Pagani? Do I want the Cadillac? Or do I want the Hmm, decisions, 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 decisions. I'm going to go with, as much as I love that Mercedes-Benz, that is the most awesome Mercedes-Benz, and the most rarest, oldest Mercedes-Benz that is practically in existence, because this was hard to find the FH4, it's even more hard to find the FH5, so is this guy. This actually would have been one of my ideas for episode um, 10 or 9 or 10 or 11, whatever, but, you know, now we have backstage passes, we can actually pause the series, or I might just uh, say it's not really an episode, but it's more like an idea of what to look for. But, you know, now we have, again, now that we have vaccine passes, we can actually pause the series and uh, things like that. So, what we'll do is I'll make a new series called Prize and Backstage Passes Cars that were like originally hard to find in the auction house, but now we have backstage passes that I can make it that much easier. So we'll make it like Horizon Backstage Pass Cars, and then like um, in the description, it's the sequel to Auction House Cars, because all these guys we actually can get in the auction house, but they cost a crap ton of credits. Whereas nowadays, you can just use a backstage pass, as you see in the bottom left corner of your screen, and grab these guys that way. Versus having to go through 
multiple time zones spamming the buttons to even have it appear in the auction house. So we can just do it this way, make it easier and get out the way. So we'll do it that way. Um, we'll just go for now. We are going to go with, we're gonna go with a cool Mercedes-Benz 280SL. Yes, purchasing shop item. Boom, got it, there you go. And you can see it's got the little H crown there. So now we have that guy. So now we have ourselves in Mercedes-Benz 280SL. Sweet. All right, let's see what we got. Come on. Come on, Toyota Sword. 2.5. What do you got, buddy? We're racing against uh, moderate uh, speed AI. That's pretty fun. Thing. All right. We got our first founder. T128. Active and ready to go. Thanks for the change. Beautiful. So many things we get through this for that issue. We can probably run it on the first run. It should be a good anyway. We will see. All right. Let's rock and roll, shall we? Clean racing skill. Awesome. Yay. Okay. We have other P-Class cars in the one as well. Awesome. All right. We're going to keep on going. So we get to our first sharp turn. Put the brakes on. Put the cleave. And we apply the brakes. We downshift. Make our turn here. Ow. How dare you. Idiot. Make our turn here. The cleave. We got four power, three, should be good. He goes to die for a few seconds, so I'm good. Other than that, okay, we should be good here. Down shift, the clean. Red line down a little bit, and then up shift. I already give you a heavy, I'm not worried about, we don't catch them. Because I have no problem with that. I never had a problem with catching other people that are not me, because they are AI. Obviously, yay, oh hi. Alright, keep on going this way, hope these guys were uh, not be, <laughs> too worried to not be. Alright, keep on going this way, we good so far, we good, we good, we good. This uh, specific person on that guy still doesn't have to listen to me, there's your answer, he's still not to listen to me. This guy was never able to listen to himself, but he sucks, but he's good for me, and not smart for that guy. Get it? That guy gets the name of that guy. <laughs> get it? Get it? Get it? Ha 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 Woo! Alright, we keep on going. We need to catch this guy. That'd be nice. Even if I catch him on a second, that'd be nice. But, come on, I'm almost on his butt. I am on his butt. Okay. Next turn. Ah! Thank you. I appreciate it. Down to shift two. Up to shift one. Make this final run here. I don't care if I'm going to get a full black screen. Or whatever it is. Not, you're very much welcome. <laughs> anyway, so that's going to do it for this video. If you guys are new to the channel and you want to see more 4005 videos and shorts and stuff like that. Speaking of shorts, I'm assuming it's either today or tomorrow, I'm not sure which. But we are going to be eligible for more than 60 seconds worth of shorts because shorts originally were supposed to be 60 seconds. There's the update coming soon. There's going to be a massive update to that actually. And it's going to be three minute shorts where you can do anything you want up to three whole minutes of shorts content. Hi, Fort Transit. Uh, I'm not in your way, but you can go. Thank you. Don't be stoned because of me, buddy. Anyway, um, yeah, so uh, maybe more possible shorts up to three minutes once the update becomes available, which won't be till tomorrow, I'm assuming. So there's that. Um, other than that, I do believe we are good. So again, subscribe, smash the like button, comment below for your part, share us with your friends, yada, yada, yada. I will see you guys in the next video or short, possibly three minutes short on the channel first time coming soon. And I'll see you guys then. You guys stay safe. You guys take it easy. You guys are legit awesome. I love it. I love it. You guys stay safe. Bye.